Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my fellow reptiles, to Face Palm Sunday, and today's kind of a special video because it's something that I've never done for a Face Palm Sunday segment. Today I'm responding to the musician slash singer slash actress known as Abigail Breslin. I don't know if I said her last name right, but if I didn't, I don't care. She recently did a song on YouTube in which she then later removed or privated or unlisted, I don't know, because it got such a negative feedback. And it got such a negative feedback response from all these different people, and I should stop, is Abigail Breslin is a young actress. She uh, starred in the movie Little Miss Sunshine. She was also in the movie Ender's Game and a few other uh, films that she was in. But she debuted her first album, or few, not album, first song ever, and it was titled You Suck. And it was specifically addressing the band member from Five Seconds of Summer known as Michael. And today we're going to be kind of just going through the lyrics themselves. I wanted to actually post her video and respond to it as the video is playing, but for copyright reasons and because her music is actually copyrighted by a record company, I can't do that. Her video is linked down below. Just be ready to plug your ears because your ears will in fact bleed. But one of the biggest problems that I have with singers nowadays, specifically like Taylor Swift, is I can't... I love passion and I love passion in music. I love emotion in music. I believe Michael uh, Buble does that perfectly. He's one of my favorite um, singers of all time. But people like Taylor Swift or people like this woman who's trying to hijack a Taylor Swift persona, I can't stand these people who every time they've had, what, 50 boyfriends, they go through a breakup, they write an entire song about just bashing this individual and how of a terrible person they are. And in most cases, Taylor Swift's songs about, you know, her ex-boyfriends are annoying, but I wouldn't call them, like, terrible. She's just talking about her breakup experience, which is completely fine. But Abigail here does something that I've never seen any female singer do in regards to a quote-unquote breakup. What is even more ridiculous about the lyrics of this song, as we're going to jump right in in a second here, is that she claims that this song is about empowering women. Which is perfectly okay, you know, if you want to write a song and you want to empower women, you want to inspire them, I'm fine with that, there's nothing wrong with that. But let me tell you something, the lyrics that I'm about to read to you does not empower women. It does not look good upon feminism, as that's what she also tries to use this song as. It's a feminist song! It supports feminism! Here we go. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm not going to sing this on tune, or I'm not going to... Ugh. I hate your dumb tattoo. I'd wish you fly to the moon, where there are no girls to use or screw over. I'm laughing... <laughs> Cause I lied, you know. I said you sound like all-time low. You really don't, even though you try hard, you try hard. I bet you're gonna hear this song. I bet you're gonna sing along and tell your friends how obsessed I am with you. First things first. That line, I bet you're gonna sing, a, sing along to tell how your friends how obsessed I am with you. You are the person here who's dedicating an entire song based upon this individual who recently did an interview who said that, that he hadn't even spoken to you or had any altercations with you or talked to you in over an entire year. And then randomly, you make your first song and you write it about him. But this gets even better than this. I bet you didn't know that you sound like a girl. That's the next line in the song. I bet you didn't know that you sound like a girl. Firstly, if you want to claim that this is about empowering women or about feminism, the last thing you want to do is insult, whether he's your ex-boyfriend or not, insult a guy by saying that you sound like a girl. That is the exact opposite of empowering women, is, is simply dissing someone and saying that you sound like a girl. I've been told that I have a feminine voice or that I can, that my voice isn't very manly, but I don't take offense to it, but it's kind of degrading to women when you say, you sound like a girl. There's nothing wrong with sounding like a girl. I can't naturally control my voice. He can't naturally control his voice. And if you have a high-pitched voice, we can't help that. It's not something that we can control. Every time you call me when you're drunk, and all the way, all, and all that I want to say is you really suck. Suck, 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 su
you know, sock, you sock, you sock, you sock, you sock, all just sitting there like giggling and like sock, sock, sock. It's the most stupidest thing I've ever seen. The music video is, is terrible. It's like, it was, to think that this was a, a perf is, is, she got, I don't even understand how she managed to make this. The video is terrible. It's linked down below. Just watch it and your eyes will, will start to hurt. Uh, the next thing she says, now this, I, I hate this. I hate the scar above your eye. It looks like you're on drugs. Really? The guy Michael from uh, Five Seconds of Summer has explained and told people why he has a scar on his upper, uh, above his eye, eye. And that's not something, that's like, that's like telling me that the scars on my arm and legs makes me look like I'm on drugs. You know, I, I didn't put scars on my arms and, and to, to, to degrade someone, and this is degrading, to degrade someone for having a scar on their upper eye is one of the most superficial low blows I believe someone can do. That's like someone coming up to me and saying, wow, are you like, did you self-harm for attention? You stupid depressed fag. Cause that's what you are, you know? Look at you, you have scars on your, it's, just, it's, it's unnecessary. Why insult someone for something that happened in their life that puts a scar on their on their eye and, and you equate that with being on drugs? So what? If someone has scars on their arms or scars anywhere on the bot on their body, you think that that they're automatically a drug addict? Wake the fuck up, Abigail. The next line goes, and you really need to learn to wash your hair. Overall, you're not a catch. You're just a dumbass bleaching your hair. Well, I hope it falls out. And it falls out. <laughs> really? This song is terrible. The lyrics are... Oh my god. I bet you're gonna hear this song. I bet you're gonna sing along. And tell your friends how, obsessed, how I'm obsessed with you. Oh! And I bet you didn't know that you sound like a girl repeats the same stupid lines. This is where it gets even better. Oh, and thanks for telling all your lies. Because I now realize... I'd rather date a rock. <laughs> you'd rather date a rock? So you'd rather date something that doesn't move, doesn't do anything, that you just look at. I mean, you can't even have sex with a rock. I mean, I'm sure you could attempt to try to, but I'm not sure how a woman having sex with a rock would even work. You'd rather date... You could say, like, you'd rather date an animal or something, but then you'd be accused of bestiality. But now I realize... Oh, and thanks for telling all your lies, because now I realize I'd rather date a rock. Oh, and thanks for the tickets to your show. I just wanted you to know all your bandmates are hotter than you. How old are you? 14 in high school? I just want to let you know that all your friends are like so hot and you're like the, one of the ugliest out of them. Like, your friends are so much hotter. I totally bang them rather than you. <laughs> you're, you're. This is the this is woman's 18 years old. She is an actress, and this is what you're you're you are you are dive bombing. You are stripping your career of any potential, if not already, by doing this sort of shit in your music. I mean, Taylor Swift. I don't like her songs, but it's nothing like this. This is just downright dis disgusting that you're now attempting to make him feel bad and telling that oh your guy friends, the band members that you sing with, they're a lot hotter than you. This is like total high school mentality. Grow the fuck up, Abigail. I think the biggest issue that I have with this entire song is the fact that you attempt to insult his physical appearance by saying that he's a drug addict, by saying that you hope he loses his hair because he bleaches it. You're telling him that his friends are hotter and better looking than him as that's an attempt to insult him. This entire song is based upon insulting someone's physical appearance. This song isn't about a, you know, you're going through pain, so therefore you want to express your emotions and pain through that music. It's simply just to insult someone's physical appearance, and then you claim that that is somehow empowering to women and somehow glorifies women and is a support of feminism. If you think telling someone that you sound like a girl supports feminism or, or is empowering to women, then you have your you have your priorities, your priorities are reversed. This does nothing to further feminism. Does nothing to glorify women. Does nothing to inspire women. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, Abigail, but you're not going to get into the music career by making absolute shit like this. I believe the last thing that we need in music and and in people singing 
is to create drama by other band members. Oh, you used to date me? Well, I'm going to write an entire song about you and how terrible that relationship was or how you broke my heart. We have seen this done. How many goddamn times of people making these relationship breakup songs? There are people who can do it who are talented. You are not talented. You can't be talented when you make lyrics like this. Your superficial persona, Abigail, really is displayed 100% by the lyrics of this song. So ladies and gentlemen, her video is linked down below in the description. If you want to read the lyrics over what I just read to you, they're also linked down below in the description. And there also is the first link. Um, if you click that link, it will actually tweet Abigail this video to show her that she, her line of reasoning here, and not only her line of reasoning, but her superficial persona that she tries to portray here as some empowering women tactic is absolutely pathetic. I have never quite understood the people who claim things like, hey, I'm writing this book, or I'm making this song to empower women or empower men, but then I insult my gender by degrading my gender by saying obvious illogical things like you sound like a girl, like that's a bad thing. This type of music, in my opinion, pushes the music industry down from actually progressing into something that could be potentially beautiful, emotional, and with passion and you do nothing to further the music industry, rather you insult it by making this absolute garbage and then attempt to smother it over with words like empowering women and feminism. My name is Daniel Soloswak, also known as Mr. Repsion. This has been a Face Palm Sunday video response. I am off to go stream some Far Cry 4 on my Twitch channel, which is also linked down below, so if you want to watch me do some live streaming, by all means, feel free to check me out down below in the description. Thank you for watching.